Oh, just click onto there again. All right, go live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, everyone. Wow. I really hope you can see me. Uh, technology, uh, definitely not a strong point in this house. Um, so, um, it's great to be here for Robert Burns Night. Um, and I hope we'll have a lovely hour or so together. Um, I can see some people are already waiting in the chat. I'm so sorry I'm, I'm a little bit late. Uh, so many things to uh, to try and get ready with the just on the tech side. Um, but anyway, here we are. It's um, the 25th of January, uh, which is always Robert Burns Night. It's not something I've particularly marked in the past, but um, it's amazing how one thing leads to another. And and I got this book just before Christmas in uh, the Castle Bookshop in Tonnes. And I really enjoyed the poems, like coming to them anew. And um, yeah, so it's sort of inspired by that and looking for any excuse for a, a kind of some kind of gathering or get together as much as we can do these days. Of course, um, being in a room with, with all of you and everyone together and perhaps um, instruments joining me and uh, having a good old jam would be, would be best of all. But um, this is the next best thing, perhaps. So I hope you'll, you'll be able to stay uh, and um, join in from where you are. So um, as a, two or three songs perhaps are a bit well known. Uh, so uh, please join in, add a harmony, add an instrument even. And if you do do that, let us know in the chat. Um, but let us know where you are anyway. Let me just have a quick look at the chat before we really get going. I can see, oh, there's a Totnes Devon Posse, Amy, Ellie, uh, Ian, and Julia, who is in Glasgow. Wow, we've really got the seal of approval now. Um, that's brilliant. So great to see everybody. Um, right, well, I hope the sound's better this time. I'm using this posh mic, but even so, there's a lot, uh, a lot of things that haven't really been um, ironed out. So um, let's give it a go. So, oh, perhaps I should say, um, Nigel. Invited along by Carol. How lovely! After having me haggis. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. Um, so perhaps I should say that that I do have some Scottish ancestry. So so on my dad's side, um, there's family going back um, uh, to the Scottish borders, to a place called Haddington, uh, which is just below Edinburgh. Um, and Robert Burns, uh, he wasn't a Highland Scotsman, uh, and uh, I think uh, I think I'm allowed anyway. But great to have a Scottish contingent in the house. Here we go. Yes. So, with the background in the borders, the Scottish borders, this song is um, in praise of that part of the world, uh, and it's called "The Rolling Hills of the Borders." Borders. 
a certain peace of mind. Bonnie lasses, there you'll find men so sturdy and so kind among the hills of the lovely to see names in the house in the chat um, so I think without further ado I uh, can't wait uh, for a wee dram um, so I will wish you a very happy Burns night wherever you are whether you're in Scotland in Devon in any other place in the UK or even in the world um, cheers let's have a good night and a good year mm. Oh, that's very good for the throat. Perfect. Very medicinal. Shall I show you what I'm drinking? This is uh, this is uh, Highland Park Scotch whiskey. It's a really good one, um, as can be seen by uh, the level of the bottle. So, um, so I don't know if you've ever been to a actual Burns supper. I haven't, but I've been. Um, looking into it a little bit and it's a very uh, kind of strict set order that the evening takes um i'm not going to particularly follow it tonight but maybe we'll have a little echo of it as we go uh, so the first thing that happens is uh some piping the piping in of the guests actually uh so i thought i'd play uh three melodies um which all have scottishness about them um, if the, if not actually Scottish. Uh, so the first one is uh, The Keel Row, which I know very much as a, a Tyneside song, um, but I think it's also claimed as a Scottish song and it definitely has a Scottish kind of lilt to it. Um, so I'm very happy to share that song. Um, so I'll begin with that. I'm going to play all of these in the key of C, by the way. Um, and... I will follow that with a, a little melody that I came across. Um, it's a Scottish lute melody from the Scottish lute book. Um, and it was Rupert, Rupert Waddington, who, uh, who's been doing a long series of uh, lovely lute pieces on YouTube all through lockdown. Uh, and this one just struck me. It's a very beautiful little tune with quite an unusual feature in it as well. Uh, and we'll finish this little set of three songs to welcome the guests uh, with a melody that I know from, uh, I think, doing my music A-level many moons ago. Um, and uh, one, of, one of the pieces we studied was Malcolm Arnold, Four Scottish Dances. And they were very memorable and I really enjoyed getting to know them. Uh, and the melodies in... in Malcolm Arnold's Four Scottish Dances are the composer's own original melodies, uh, but they're very much Scottish in spirit. Um, so the first one, I think, is a sort of Strathspey, and um, that's what we'll finish this little set with. So starting with the keel row. <laughs> Thank you. 
have a dance. to read that uh, some dancing has begun already. That's just what we like. So all the guests have now been uh, piped into the room and um, there's a welcoming speech from the host and um, the food starts to unroll the soup which might be kokaliki or scotch broth or other delicacies. Uh, so I think it's probably time that we include a song written by Robert Burns. So, as I said, I've been really enjoying reading and, and even reading aloud, because I think they, they, they probably really have to be read aloud, the poems and songs of Robert Burns. Uh, so many well-known poems and so many famous lines. Um, so this one is probably moderately well-known. I think it's, it's a beautiful song. Uh, it's called Green Grow the Rashes. Uh, and I'm going to, oh, it, it includes a fantastic word, um, tapsaltiri, meoge tapsaltiri, which in my polite penguin uh, edition, it uh, gives a kind of translation, tapsaltiri, topsy-turvy, but you can make what you like, what it might possibly really mean. Um, so green grow the rushes and I'm going to um, go from there into another beautiful Scottish song uh, with words just possibly by James Hogg. So my long lost distant relative, somebody else who I've been discovering in the build up to tonight um, is, is the writer James Hogg. I don't know if you can see, there we go. Uh, the Ettrick Shepherd. So he was a contemporary of Burns and um, also a poet um, and a songwriter. 
so this book, I'm really pleased to find it. Um, it was kind of a total bargain, second hand, but it's quite a scholarly edition. Um, and I'm really intrigued to, to find out a bit more about my, my distant relative, James Hogg. Um, so he possibly had a hand in the writing of the words to this uh, second song, um, the title of which is Both Sides the Tweed. So here we are, some uh, Robert Burns, Green Grow the Rushes, and then some James Hogg, uh, Both Sides the Tweed. No 
sweetness the senses can cheer, which corruption and bribery bind. No brightness the gloom can eclipse, for honors the sum of the mind. Let the love of our land sacred right to the love of our people succeed. Let friendship and honor unite and flourish on both sides the tree. Riches in lowest degree. Think them poorest who can be enslaved, them richest who dare to be free. Let the love of our land sacred right to the love of our people succeed. Let friendship and honor unite and flourish on. <laughs> ah, that's one of the songs I know best of the whole set tonight, and I fluffed the words. But there you go. Oh, let's have a check in on the chat. Oh, so lovely. Oh, it's Luna Ming and Joelle in Totnes. How lovely. And Carol. Great. <laughs> lovely. Maybe you'll have your fiddle out, Carol, later. And uh, John also, that's really nice. John and Sarah in top best too. Well, I'm glad you liked that one, Amy. Uh, Carly Yow's, that's not the first time that song has come up, actually. Um, it's a very special one. Um, so actually, looking at my set list, what is next? Carly Yow's. Uh, I'm going to actually just do it as an instrumental, but at home, of course, you can sing along uh, and do your own variations as much as as much as uh, as much as you would like oh griselda also hi brilliant you see that you know griselda that i totally know that song i should get the words right on that one if uh, if, if none of the others um so yes because now in the proceedings and a typical burns supper would be the time the guests have arrived, we've had the welcoming speeches. This is the very, very central part of the piping in of the haggis. Now, I have here a haggis prepared. Yes, uh, here's the haggis. They take a lot of catching, but um, here is the haggis. Where is it? Oh, oh here, uh, where is it coming? Oh, here we are, here we are. Here is today's haggis. Uh, who's also going to join in with the singing, aren't you? Yes, 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 I am, yes. And um, so the next part is the piping in of the haggis. So I'm going to do two instrumentals, not pipe tunes at all, but two very, very beautiful melodies, two very beautiful words, both by Robert Burns. Um, so this is Car the Yows, followed by uh, E. Banks and Brays. Okay, I'll put the haggis to one side.
lovely oh wouldn't it be lovely to be uh to be in company and and playing this together um anyway lovely that you are there and ruth also thank you um great well let's have another wee dram at the highland park cheers everybody let us know what you're drinking or eating anybody got the neeps and tatties not to mention the haggis. Mm, this is really good. Okay, so now uh, I, I'm in two minds whether to 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 bother doing this. Um, this is a song. I thought it would be nice to write something for tonight. In a way, a, a kind of um, thank you to Scotland because. Growing up in Newcastle, Scotland was, was, was relatively close. And we used to go there for family holidays, like every year, every summer. So it turns out I've been like so many places in Scotland, from tiny places um, to the islands, to the, the sort of far corners, as well as sort of central and lowland Scotland. We always headed north. Um, but of course, that... Um, that actually was a great, although I didn't always know it or appreciate it at the time, it was, it was a great experience, this landscape, this, this sort of feeling, um, space, hills. Um, so I think it's, it's very memorable and part, part of me. Uh, and sometime I, I feel I'd like to go back now and, and go back to some of these places. I, th I think some of them will have changed a lot. 
Um, so one of the most magical and memorable places that we went, in fact, we went more than once because it was so special, um, that was to the Western Isles, to Harris and Lewis on the far western rim of Scotland. Uh, and to get there, you, 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 you take a boat from Sky, so you're already on an island and you, you cross to the, the far reach of Skye and take another boat over to, um, to Harris Tarbot, I think it is. Uh, and doing that for the first time, I was probably, I don't know how old I was, but 12 years old or something. Um, and getting on that boat and heading in the evening light to the far distant hills on the horizon was, was something really unforgettable. It was a really incredible uh, moment um, and experience. And I've had similar experiences since. I think maybe whenever you're heading to an island by a boat, uh, especially if it's evening, perhaps the same thing happens. I've, I've had similar experiences in Japan and um, yeah, diff different islands uh, of that that really special light, like you're sitting, everything has changed and, and the clarity and the magic in the air is, is, is incredible. And, and this distant landscape that you can't even make out, you can just see an outline, um, is really special. So I thought I would try and write something about that. The trouble is it's not, it's not completely finished really. Um, so I don't know whether to, whether I, after all that build up, I have to really, um, but I've just been working on it this afternoon. So I've called it, uh, to the rim. Um, and here, if you want to see a, a, a score in progress, here we go. Lots of crossings out and arrows and do this bit. Um, so I really no idea what this will go like, um, but maybe it, it's good to just do it. We should all be brave, shouldn't we, with, with all new things, uh, especially now while we're all stuck at home, um, just to try things out. So hopefully this won't be totally catastrophic. I think it's got possibilities. I, I don't think it's, it's not brilliant, but um, anyway, here we go. To, uh, so with one or two hesitations, probably, this is to the rim. All the dreaming focuses down on a 
rubbish. Glistening little harbor, gateway to the land beyond the rim. go it's got to, it's got a bit of possibilities um yeah i just like went crazy for key changes halfway through um so it just needs a bit of pulling around but as i was playing actually i had this little card on the on the piano and um that's pretty much the view that i had in my mind's eye as i wrote that and as i reminisced lovely okay Cheers again. So, where are we in the proceedings? We are. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll throw this little song in now. Um, so, another, another Scottish poet, another Scottish writer, uh, Robert Louis Stevenson, who wrote the, the I think perhaps my favourite Robert Louis Stevenson. And I know uh, Julia, you, you, you. You're a fan of this as well. He wrote A Child's Garden of Verses. And they're such beautiful miniature pieces, really seeing the world through a child's eyes. Um, so I'd like to do a couple of songs from there. Um, uh, so I think, yeah, right now I'll do, I'll do, um, this is the song about the lamplighter, uh, Leary the lamplighter. Um, so I hope, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Man Played to Her by Robert Louis Stevenson. And, and the song was written by somebody called Mike Moran. Uh, I don't know very much about him, but um, I heard it on a little documentary on Radio 4 uh, about Charles Gardner verses. Okay, so uh, where are we up to in the proceedings? So on a classic Burns Supper, I think uh, we would have had now the, 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 the piping in of the haggis. We've done that. The address to the haggis, the great chieftain of the pudding race. Uh, the whiskey toast to the haggis. Everybody have another dram. Cheers, cheers, the haggis. Um, and uh, it might even be time for the dessert, the tipsy laird or Kranaken. All these wonderful things, wonderful names. Um, so I think it is time for ah, a couple of songs. It's lovely that, uh, just glancing at the messages, um, ah, thank you. I just saw a message that Olwyn is watching. Yes, Carol, Olwyn is watching. That's so lovely, amazing, after so many years. Um, yeah. Uh, so the next couple of songs. Um, uh, the first one is um, is a song called "Storn Away Girl," written by Jackie Levin. Um, so "Storn Away" on the far on the Western Isles as well, the capital of Lewis, another place that I've spent quite a lot of time. Uh, well, not a lot of time, but have been more than once. And uh, yeah, powerful, powerful place all of those places, such a lot of history and uh, tradition and weather. Um, and you feel very, very, people are uh, strong. And uh, so then I'm going to follow that with uh, a song called You Can Discover. And this is why it's, it's especially nice that, that Olwyn is, is watching. Uh, so, so Olwyn's brother, Mark, uh, introduced this song to me um, and uh, I always remember Mark singing this uh, he introduced me to John Martin actually it's a John Martin song and um, yeah I, I really remembered Mark singing this and, and when I was getting tonight's program together I, I this song came into my mind for some some reason and Mark's version of it uh, and it was lovely to to go back to the tapes and 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 listen again it's really special um it is a john martin song and for some reason i was thinking that john martin was scottish when i looked him up he's actually from new malden in uh, surrey in south london uh, but he did have lots of scottish family and he did actually um spend a lot of time uh different points in his life in glasgow and he did i'm sure have a bit of a scottish accent sometimes Anyway, it's it's quite a, a sort of smouldering uh, song called "You Can Discover." So, um, ah, yes, and an another uh, kind of factor in in putting "You Can Discover" together. I was I was driving home last week sometime, and, and these songs were going around in my head, and uh, it was raining quite heavily, and I was stopped at the lights, and the rhythm of the windscreen wipers just was like a perfect match, and I started singing you can discover over the rhythm of the wipers and the rain was slanting down the windscreen and it just seemed a, a complete mix of, you know, the rain, Scotland, um, uh, this sort of mood. Um, so I'm going to, in my head, I have the sound of the wipers going, which means I'm going to take it pretty slowly. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this couple of songs. First one, Storn Away Girl, and then um, you can discover. This piano really needs tuning. I tried to get it tuned, but it's really hard at the moment to get a piano tuner. Anyway. Oh, my love. 
stone away go. Oh my love, oh my stone away go. She's the one sets the hammer.
some kind of madness tries to take my place but darling you can discover the lover in me and I can discover the lover in me you can discover the lover in me and I can discover the lover in me and together we can roll and talk till the cows come Okay, thanks. Uh, oh, Shizuka from Japan. How fabulous that is. Oh, like three o'clock in the morning. Oh, very lovely. And uh, Jules, you're going to have to go. Okay, I don't know what time is it. It's nine o'clock already. Okay, we better get a move on. We're heading towards the end of the Burns Night Supper. So there are now the um, uh, the toasts, the, the toasts to the immortal memory of the poet, Robert Burns. And definitely is an immortal memory because I think people will always know and love his his writing. There's the address to the lassies. Um, maybe that Stornoway girl and you can discover could be the address to the lassies. There's the reply to the laddies uh, and now the singing of songs and reciting of poems. Uh, so the singing of songs, this could be a chance for everyone to join in if you would. Now, um, over here, my old friend, my new friend, the banjo, my lockdown friend. Uh, so I'd love uh, to sing this song with you. Uh, it's a song we do in choir in Totnes. Uh, it is a Scottish song. It's written by Doogie MacLean and the name of the song is um, This Love Will Carry. So the words are really simple. Um, this love will carry. This love will carry me. I know this love will carry me. That's it. Um, and the other lovely thing about this song is that it is um, is also possible to 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 change the words a little bit, and instead of saying this love will carry, to say something else that's important or uh you know that, that sustains sustains us uh so i'm looking in the chat as we go for for any suggestions of of, of any words that we could say um, instead of uh, this love will carry we could sing this town this town this place will carry this place will carry me anything else that, that you can think of I'm just going to have a sip of water. Um, mm. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. This love will carry me. <laughs> Lovely suggestions already. So we'll start with this love. The words are in the chat. Thank you, Ian. Hello, Christine. Yeah, plenty, plenty, plenty of time. Uh... <laughs> okay, so it goes like this. This love will carry. This love will carry me. This whiskey will carry. This whiskey. 
whiskey will carry me. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for the suggestions. Okay, right. Well, uh, let's, let's get to uh, um, move moving swiftly on. Uh, probably it's the case that uh, Burns Night suppers go on and on and on. Um, but um, yeah, we should we should we should head towards our uh, final things. So, a um, couple of songs. I'm really looking forward to doing these two songs for you. Um, starting with um, another song by Robert Louis Stevenson, another poem by Robert Louis Stevenson, music setting by Mike Moran. And uh, the poem this time is The Moon. Such a beautiful thing, a child's, child's eye view of the moon. And uh, from there, I am going to seamlessly go into the song Grapefruit Moon. Waits. So that's tonight, tonight's Tom Waits song. Um, had to get in somewhere. I think they fit together quite nicely. So uh, I hope you don't mind me uh, squeezing Tom into the proceedings. Cheers. The moon has a face. Like the clock on the hall She shines upon things On the garden wall On streets and fields And harbour keys Birdies are asleep
Okay, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed the celebrations uh, in honor of Robert Burns. Um, so one of the, the last things in the Burns Supper is the closing and the vote of thanks. So I guess we should thank Robert Burns and James Hogg and all the poets and musicians and composers and writers and artists um, you know, who just make life worth living, really. Um, and uh, thanks to you also for, for joining in tonight. It's been really lovely following the chat as we've been going. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. So let's do it again. I think the next live stream I'm thinking uh, of doing on the uh, 16th of February. Uh, with, with a double up theme of Chinese New Year and Mardi Gras. So uh, if we possibly can, let's meet again on the 16th of February for, for another live stream. Um, so thanks so much. Um, so uh, before we do our finale, our grand finale, I'm sure you know what that is going to be. It's, it's compulsory at the Burns Night. Um, but before we do that, I'd like to um, I think if, if there's time, I know we're overrunning the hour by a long shot. So uh, uh, this is a song uh, I was researching Burns Night and apparently in the year 1990, the 25th of January 1990, there was one almighty storm in the UK and also in Europe, particularly in Europe. I don't know if anybody remembers it, um, but it was a hurricane force storm, wind storm. Uh, the one of the strongest European windstorms on record happened on Burns Night in 1990. So that must have been a wild uh, get home after uh, after out celebrating um, where, wherever people were celebrating that particular night. So this reminded me of, of a lovely song um, that is also about a storm. It's a storm in New York um, in 2015. There was um, a big storm in New York. The name of the storm was Storm Juno. And this was going to be, again, the mother of all storms. It was going to break all the records. And uh, I think people were actually, it was kind of a lockdown. You weren't allowed to leave your house. Um, but in the end, it transpired that the storm passed over peacefully, relatively peacefully. Uh, and there wasn't so much damage. damage and um, there weren't. Uh, so many injuries or, or, or what people had expected. So it's kind of just a nice, I don't know, sometimes nature decides, you know, we'll just let them off this time. Uh, so the title of the song is by Is Juno. Uh, it's by um, Diane Birch. And um, yeah, uh, stay around after this one for the grand finale. Still standing 
Some of us have had some snow in the, in the last couple of days. Um, so hope it's not too bad where, where you are. Lovely. So thank you to everybody who's joined in. Susie, that was lovely. Oh, thank you so much. Unexpected. It's the best of all. Fab. Great stuff. Okay, well, you guessed it. It's time to open our books to that most famous of Robbie Burns' poems, Old Lang Syne, um, and shall we sing it together? I know some of us did this at New Year, only a few weeks ago, um, and it was lovely. So um, I guess it's a real song of togetherness um, and looking forward to the future with hope. Uh, so shall we? Uh, I'm going to play it in the key of C. Um, perhaps you have an instrument to hand. Uh, uh, certainly you have your voices. So um, let's do this together. Zara, Ian, uh, as Ian rightly says, it is almost spring. Cheers, one and all. Thanks for joining. Mm. 
Cheers. <laughs>